alone. Mickey and Minnie, a creation of Walt Disney, have always been some of my favorite characters. And Walt never put a copyright on the song, It's a Small World After All. Because it was meant to highlight that it's been a world of festering fears and tears and that our perfect love can cast that all away. Mickey and Minnie know it's true, and I guess I'm with Walt, and I guess I'm with Red Ruddy, who I'm spotlighting this week, uh, because he sees the truth that we're never going to get to our kingdom age if we think it's going to be dependent upon the supernatural. It will naturally happen, and it is in slow mold right now. Now is the time, now is the day to look up above. And it's time to celebrate because Mickey and Minnie have not wasted their time in vain. They know it's becoming a small world after all, much greater with each and every passing day. As YouTube explodes and Google all over the earth, as the internet makes uh, the world shrink uh, enormously. So... It's time to realize it's time for Canada to shine. The first is last, and the last is first. And so, too, is it true that for this hour, the Lord has given it unto the hands of a few Canadians to begin a foretold uh, revival of love. And I'm ashamed that I've made so many uh, videos and I, I seldom tell people how I really feel. I really do love all people. I don't care what you believe or what you do not believe. And it's never been about trying to get you to believe like I do. I'm just praising our Lord God who is love and who is peace, who is faith. And if you can dig that, buckle up. Please like and share. Share especially uh, Red Ruddy, his videos, because he's a, a new uh, YouTuber, and I see him able to soar, and uh, it takes one who soars to know another. And so these are the days of Revelation 3's trial of all flesh coldly. And by the plurality of singularity of the oneness of God, shall all discerning people hear Red Ruddy's ongoing words of love's oneness while receiving the greatest blessings of love from love, hope from hope, and peace from our Prince and Peace thereof, who is our everlasting Abba Father. And as it is written uh, by John the Revelator, uh, the Lord in these latter days has promised to keep everyone from the accursed hour of our temptation not to change. Uh, it is written in Revelation 3. So uh, it's time uh, that we must change. It's crazy not to lie down our differences in love. That we must do so that we could, uh, if, if that does not happen, we could never be our swords into the, the sickle, uh, the foretold sickles of Revelation 14 for Christ's harvest of love. So let all those wanting to shine as the uh, rising sun of righteousness that's going to destroy all of our gross darkness understand now that our Lord is living mercury due to his uh, ongoing loving forgiveness that radiates his mercy like some exploding lava. If you guys aren't aware, mercury is a metal that melts at a low temperature and it, it, it balls into pieces. And it doesn't matter, you could have one big ball of mercury and melt it down into a thousand and they will all be identical to one another, uh, the exact likeness and exact image of one another. And just as mercury can be split into little balls of some real warm liquid metal and still be exactly the same to the very first big piece, uh, to our trinity of love singularity over all men is now being preached by another in Canada. And I'm happy about that because I, this has been foretold that Canada would be the place. And so in these days, all men can see that the Father, the Son, and the Holy Dove of love are one. 
one and the same. And so let the, the Jubilee of Jubilees begin as the great end time celebration of celebrations now explodes between Berlin, Germany and Waterloo, Ontario, uh, and between Tokyo and Jerusalem. Uh, and there's awfully great reason to exalt our carpenter of the ages, since our Lord's oneness is correctly being taught by Red. Red ready for uh, our Lord alone is our everlasting majesty of majesties, who is our all-encompassing one, who will uh, stay one with us if we will stay one with him. By keeping our light of love on, it is that simple. By being as little children, leaving the land of the walking dead, where we let our love just become a noun, not even moving in more emotion. Leave the land of the walking dead and embrace the Lord's brightest light of love that even shines within the darkest part of our hearts as we allow our brightness to also become one with our dark as we never again feel any more condemnation over anything that we do. Because if we go one step forward, one step back, we're still always going in the right direction and we can let our love shine and stay above our hearts. And nor is there any doubt at all that this is fully achievable to reach oneness. Red has attained that ascension and so have I. So has House of Beloved, and uh, so has uh, Anna Brace, and so are there are many people out there that have attained a higher place in love. That there's nothing special about me, or Red, or uh, uh, Shiasa, uh, or any of the people, um, other than they believe love is love, and love always loves. Uh, so it's time that we can walk with inner peace, as Isaiah 25 foretold. For in the latter days, uh, the wise will uh, have their guilt and shame removed, as it has been foretold, so that all self-condemnation placed by ourselves or condemnation placed by others upon us can be removed. For we are beautifully and fearfully made, and uh, marvelous are we, uh, a, a glorious creation. And neither is there any doubt whatsoever that with a great resounding roar of absolute unconditional forgiveness, our roaring lion of Zion is now declaring to everyone within his pride, that's the name of a family of lions. He doesn't want no more stupid sheep. Uh, and he, he has always loved everyone exactly the same, never having had no favorites, not loving one above uh, any other for what they do or what they believe, only if they keep their hearts alive with his love, for he is love living within those that hear him calling their name. And so praise the Lord and that uh, by new revelation of old revelation, as Matthew 17, 11 predicted, it shall now be known in this hour of red ruddy arising that any true believer in love who is the Lord God Almighty always needs much patience. And it is written in Revelation 3 that with the trial of all flesh comes God's word of patience to keep us from the power of the temptation not to change. We must change in order to be generous in prosperity and most thankful in adversity. And in ways, Red Ruddy has been proving himself to be most worthy of the trust that he has now been given from the great white throne upon high, so that he will help many illuminated souls to hear his message of love with the ears of their hearts while seeking God's face. So let the wise rejoice that the uh, loftiest and most blessed breezes of Christ are still blowing. And Red Ruddy is uh, a witness to this, not that we are the two witnesses. Elijah and Moses shall come back if people won't listen to the gospel of love. They shall have wrath and death. So I adjure you to fall upon the rock so that the rock does not have to fall upon you. And know that Christ's light is still shining ever so gloriously, and the glory of his melody is still resounding the great honorable truth. 
uh, that one that is that the one of the very best gifts that God has given to this enlightened age is people like myself and Reg Ruddy's personal knowledge of the oneness of a man that he has experienced, I have experienced. And by experiencing that, um, we are qualified, uh, having been taught by the Master of Masters, the fundamental oneness of all peaceful, loving, divine religions. Well, war shall cease between nations, nukes shall be banned, no more homelessness or hunger shall there be in this world in the rising age of the lion and the lamb. And then our great Prince of Peace, the Lord Jesus, shall come. Behold, uh, and the earth will become like a brand new world, one that Red Ruddy is anxious to see arise, just as I am and House of Beloved. Uh, and all men will then live as brothers, just as John Lennon sang in uh, the last line of Imagine. And meanwhile, the most vital duty for absolutely all of us is to allow our character to be purified by our Lord's refiner's fire in these latter days. Uh, as the trial of all flesh circulates around the earth as World War Z, World War III takes off. And this is unfortunately World War III. Uh, the great bear has risen out of the sea, and in between its fangs is chewing on three ribs, foaming at the mouth with insolence as it hears. Now you may eat all the flesh that you would like. And those three ribs are Crimea, Donetsk, and Luhansk. And, uh, but praise God that uh, the Lord is cutting these days short, so all flesh will not be lost. Matthew 24, 22. And for that reason, the most important word in the word of God is Jeremiah 30, 24. For it is written, and this shall be considered in the latter days. The Lord God, our most merciful one, whose mercy shall never end and shall endure forever. He shall cut, he says, thus saith the Lord, I shall return my terrifying anger and stop the fast rising great tribulation if my chosen will give him the desire of his heart to keep that butterfly over their heart and to keep their love alive, moving as a child. So uh, if we are being purified by that refiner's fire in the world, our silver hearts will become gold. And uh, his fire is a, a, as a great oven, spiritual and emotional oven burning deeply to put some real sizzle into our once half-dead uh, emotions. It's time to awake or this world will not make it. Uh, prophecy has not been told to tell the future, but to change it. Uh, God relented and changed his mind, did not destroy Nineveh, uh, Job 4, uh, Jonah 4 rather. And so in this hour, the Lord is promising he will again make a way where there has been seeming to be no way. And this is most biblical. And along the way, he will help us all to correct our manners and to improve our conduct and to keep love as a finish line before us. And as it's written, Red Ruddy also realizes from Calgary that some of Saskatchewan realizes that all lovers of God must try their best to make firm their steps to his cause of love, hope, and peace, so much so that it will eventually transform them. Uh, seek ye first the kingdom of love, and all hope will be added unto you, saith the Lord God. And in this hour, it's time to realize that such empowered souls of uh, uh igniting love shall come to have such a great resolve that they shall never be shaken even though the worst di dire calamities of uh, terror might be hitting the world and assaulting it uh, thousands will fall to their right but it will not touch them and such shining people will be anchored fast as high mountains and they will become like stars dawning over the horizon of life as they commit to be amazing bright lamps within the gatherings of unity that only comes by love alone. And there is no darker gross darkness than the ignorance of love alone. 
and Red believes that, and that's why he he reached out to get people like me to begin um, comparing notes and communicating between one another, because by collaboration, metal can sharpen metal. So he and I both welcome your comments, and any collaboration is highly welcome. And know that for such honored messengers of peace such as Red, they shall evermore be souls of true humility in the presence of their friends due to the innocence of their most radiant hearts. Most honored are those walking with the uh, sandals of peace. So let Red Ruddy's videos be shared by everyone who is just, and let all faithful few, let them all come to see their very own service unto humanity as a service unto God. So let the love and light of God's kingdom now begin radiating through you like never before. Let the love shine brightly until everyone looking upon your sh shining no longer even sees you anymore, that you become transparent and just see love shining through you. And for this reason, we must be as fiber optics because individually we are all beautiful flowers, but together we become as a razor blade uh, that can pierce the darkest gross darkness because the laser light becomes intense. The closer you get to it, the brightness starts to become absolutely consuming. And the closer you get, it can just take us all over. And it's time to grow in the splendor of His Majesty because He is the one of the great white throne and the magnificence of his beneficence is as a sea of tranquility and blessedness and serenity that is pouring out of heaven's floodgates. So it's time that all those that will hear Red Ruddy can become illuminated by their spirit's most stunning reflection of love's brightest light. So as it was written clearly, uh, Red Ruddy proudly says that we should all be as the stars, brilliant and sparkling in the loftiness of their heavenly stations. But he also warned that we should all not gaze down upon the dust. Instead, we should always be gazing up at our beaming sun of love above us, which causes every patch of our inner darksome earth uh, to glow with the blinding light of rising new kingdom age hopes that he sees as a new dawn, a new era, being built also by science exactly as Daniel 12 rightly predicted for these latter days. So understand well all people of love whom I love, and understand that love alone is the greatest law within this vast universe of God. But let teachable souls of love wanting the truest truth also believe the gospel truth that pride has always been our biggest enemy, uh, bar none. And, and this can be summed up by the truth that stresses that the fact that we imagine ourselves to be right and everybody else wrong is the greatest of all obstacles of all of our path towards the perfection of unity. And it, as it was foretold, it, Unity is absolutely necessary if we would reach the truth, the truth of the gospel, the truth of John 10, that he would be the good shepherd over all the flocks of the men, the truth of God Almighty, saying, I am the Lord God of all mankind, Jeremiah 32, 27. And for uh, he has declared this. And But know as well that even if unity of faith remain impossible, Know that the unity of man within love is not. And for that reason, Red Ruddy, he really is now setting his eyes upon the commonalities of all people of God instead of their differences, as he prays fervently that their faith in love, who is the Lord God Almighty, would be strengthened mightily from within through his messages of the dove of love. So now, now, now is the blessed time for all lovers of peace uh, 
to unconditionally accept each other's faith and love uh, while uh, people's forgiveness paves the way towards such faithful people being able to embrace all of those loving, uh, loving those who love. For we should love all those who love, and all people do love if we will open our eyes to the truth. And they would love us more if we started loving them first. And so it's time that uh, all those who love are born again of God and know him because he is love. First John 4, 7. And at the end of the day, know that there is only one God who is the source of all good inspiration of love. And as love, he is now allowing anyone from any faith or none whatsoever to find their promises of eternal life because we have now inherited it. Uh, we have inherited it because he has given now his kingdom age covenant. He has gift wrapped it for them uh, in these latter days. If they'll be obedient to his word, uh, to let their love to be alive and to be let it be in motion as if they were little children once again. Uh, some things are impossible to stop and so too is it love. Say to a, a natural flood to stop in the middle of a gorge, say to a torrent to cease, it will not obey you. It will rip up all the leaves of the trees and rip up the roots. God alone knows where such a flow will go and no one is going to stop his flood of love. These are our days as Noah's and he's pouring out his spirit upon all flesh through his chosen messengers, people like Red Ruddy and myself. I'm Daniel. And so let Red Ruddy's words of unity evermore be celebrated, for it is what it is in order to help in bringing forth needed unity that's desperately needed uh, unto humanity. So, so its great ethnic diversity can also be united from within. And it's most true as well that our sovereign Lord God is, is a very big God. Uh, and that blinding star of stars is always free to express whatever spiritual truth that he desires unto anyone whom he wishes. He cannot stop his word of love. It, it's transcendent because he speaks to our hearts and he writes it upon our hearts. And so let all praise go unto him. For his loving mercy is patiently relentless. He will chase many of us right to the gates of hell. And nobody could ever be taken from his hand. He is the faithful uh, good shepherd who watches carefully over his flock. So thus saith the Lord God, and please let this prophesied word of patience now freely go forth from love a light. Red Ruddy's YouTube channel to all people from my people, says the Lord. And that roaring ram of God now roars by a spirit of prophecy, as he says unto his own. He says, let my faithful few now see that only by someone renouncing their very own self-will could any heaven-sent patience ever really spring forth. For nobody ever born could become per perfectly patient in all things unless they've subjected their own will, not only to my own will, but also unto all profitable things and to the will of their elders. And as Revelation 3 says, all keeping his word of patience shall be spared much grief. So the word of hope is now lovingly saying, patience is therefore a peaceful endurance of all things that may befall someone from either my word or from created forms of life, says the Lord. So understand that nothing can trouble a patient man, neither the loss of earthly goods, of friends, of kinsmen, uh, nor sickness, nor great disgrace, nor life, death, evil, nor hell, or anything else. Nothing can disturb overly a patient man. For a patient, patient person has abandoned themselves unto perfect charity, perfect love that casts out all fear according to God's will. And the Lord says, and since such a disciplined soul is in burden no longer by any burden sin because they are forgiven and know it, uh, that everything a patient person allows to come upon them 
with acceptance and within time and in eternity can very suddenly become a gl most glorious light which is most magnified to the bedazzled eyes of faith. Much perseverance always brings growth. And let the wise of the faithful few see that by patience a prepared person is also well armed uh, against shallow mindedness and sudden wrath and impatience and suffering, and such is to be avoided as a plague, as COVID. For a lack of knowledge about the true nature of patience also stirs people from within and from without and lays them open to many temptations. For the two things defining mankind is our patience when we have nothing and our, our attitudes when we have everything that we want. So the Lord says, may all my obedient be patient and tough. For some day the pain that they feel will possibly be more useful to them since patience and time bring much more strength or passion uh, uh, like the turtle that always beats Aesop's fabled hair. It's time for the dogma of love. And nor should anyone ever be anxious about anything, but in everything should they always be rejoicing in prayer with much thanksgiving while letting the request be known unto our great I Am. For he is the majestic majesty of all and the kingly keeper of hearts and the eternal royal highness of his majesty. So let all children of light have patience, no matter how hard things seem, no matter what difficulties may be encountered. For no matter how dark the gross darkness of ignorance of love is around them, truly with patience, truly comes victory, even the victory of the generations uh, and the preeminent one who always has his way in the very worst storms, whose uh, the dust of our chaos is dust under his feet. He allows the, the devil to bring nothing bad unto us, and he is bound and gagged in the latter days. So trust now in truth, says uh, Red Ruddy, and have the eyes to see that with every difficulty coming your way, heaven sent relief follows you as a glorious shadow of love. So let all people be patient with others, and remember how much patience the Lord has had with us. And above all, says the Lord, let all people of love realize that patience is the key which can solve their problems and make them feel uh, like they're walking in the rain and wishing on a falling star uh, at the very same time uh, with some flaming hope uh, at the very same time. But as, as the faithful await the manifestation of the greatest desires and the greatest wishes, the, the most devoted followers of love's truest truth shall also by and by come to understand that if patience really is anything, it has to be able to endure till the end of time. That's why our love must endure till the end while always believing that a living faith all, shall always survive. It'll survive the strongest wind, the fastest whirlwind, and the worst winds of the blackest storms imaginable. Our uh, determination and patience can be as a mountain that can never be cast down. But at the end of the day, only to those who wait comes the very best things. For the slowest growing trees bears the very best harvest and anyone willing to wait upon the Lord God Almighty for his provisions. People like Red Ruddy can have what they will, what they want, even though patience is indeed a very bitter thing in the meanwhile. Fortunately though, patience eventually brings forth the kind of the sweetest spiritual fruit since patience definitely is uh, a teacher and dogma is its only rule. Don't give up be like the little choo-choo that could and did. But know that perseverance and character always comes also through frustrations not yielded to, just as some spawning fish aggr aggressively swim upstream up against a river's fastest flows, for faith flows against the current. So let the Lord instill patience into all those believing in love, for he alone brings forth the miraculous and so that people can naturally walk in the natural and supernaturally 
uh, walk in the natural and naturally walk in the supernatural. And uh, before I go, I'm going to do one last thing here. And uh, I really do hope that you will hear the, the word of uh, my, my, my friend that I'm spotlighting because he is saying many, many good things. I'm just going to introduce you. Let me just turn this up here. But one thing, he's a uh, struggling new um, new YouTuber, and I, I I I encourage that because there's so many people out there. It's easy to get lost in the crowd. But watch for this young man. Because the people are batshit crazy, and you know they are. They are. This world is a batshit crazy world. So go to someone who's found a little bit of sanity, and you'll have a very good day.